Gatling Gun is the newest addition to Tower Defense Simulator, having a level 175 requirement and an insane 35,000 coin price tag. Although that may be expensive, this tower is not only worth that price, but it is a steal for that amount of coins. For reference, 50,000 coins is what normally gets you a golden minigunner or golden crook boss or golden scout, but none of these come even close to how valuable this tower is. But why is that? Why is the Gatling Gun so incredibly overpowered? Let's find out. The Gatling Gun costs $5,000 to place down at level 0. Being the second most expensive placement cost in the game, it is evidently a middle to end game tower. At this level, it carries a cost efficiency of about 5.77 DPS per 1k spent. This isn't the best cost efficiency, but there are two reasons that this is secretly an insane number. For one, the piercing lets you do 2.5 times that amount by hitting the first enemy with 100% damage, the second with 100%, and the third with 50%. Second, this tower also has infinite range, even at just level 0, both of these factors, the piercing and the infinite range, being thanks to the FPS mode ability. This means, at this level, it has a cost efficiency of about 14.4 when you're using the piercing. That is just insane! The Golden Scout, one of the most cost efficient towers out there, has about 9.92 cost efficiency to put that all into perspective. So not only is it more cost efficient, but it also has an infinite range, already showing why it is so OP even at level 0. Now, as you level the tower up however, it does start to lose cost efficiency over time. This is normal as most towers follow the same pattern, but on level 4, when the cost efficiency decreases, level 5 actually increases it. So from level 0 to 4 it's decreasing, but starting level 5 it actually starts to increase. And finally, here with level 6, the level we really care about if we're being honest, the DPS is now, at base, without piercing, 925! And with piercing, it is a tremendous amount of 2,300! You would never have seen towers reaching these high numbers before this tower released. Granted, it is also a whopping 2,208... Uh, how do you say that? 2,028... No, wait. 228,750, it's such a big number, but but still, the cost efficiency is now 4.04 .04 and 10.11 with piercing, showing that it did actually go up a decent amount with this final upgrade. And to be honest, when you really think about it, the fact that it has cost efficiency this high at this type of cost is truly insane. So, thanks to the piercing, it is evident that at most levels, this thing has a pretty high cost efficiency, which makes it OP. But it doesn't carry that same efficiency over when it's firing at single targets, so why is it regarded as OP in that faction as well? Well, there's quite the cluster of factors supporting it for that, one of which being that this tower is completely stun immune, a super helpful trait for keeping DPS on bosses, some more are that this tower can be placed both on cliff and ground, meaning it is extremely versatile, and the FPS mode also technically gives it infinite range. There are just generally good qualities here. Being put in the Gatling Gun's arsenal, it is just so good for bosses. The reason the Gatling Gun is so OP is that there has not been a tower before that has been able to do this much DPS to not just bosses, but even more to hordes. While also having stun immunity and map range, yeah, of course the Gatling Gun is going to be OP. The Gatling Gun just has so many special qualities here to make it so OP. I mean, we haven't even covered the manual targeting it has that allows you to strategically piece apart the armies of zombies, like killing the supporters and all the stuff. But there you go, that's another reason. There seriously hasn't been a tower this similar in power before. Sure, there have been high DPS towers released like Accelerator, Older Outlaw, or Engineer, but they haven't been able to so effectively also take care of hordes and do all this manual targeting that the Gatling Gun is able to do. The Gatling Gun has also truly broken the max DPS limit for one singular tower before. Before... Wait, what did I say? The Gatling Gun has the most DPS for one tower in the game, guys. Before, this belonged to the turret. When you used every consumable and every damage buff on the tower, you would get a 1,269 DPS unit on the field. But even a Gatling Gun without buffs is able to just destroy this record, having around 900 DPS without the piercing and 2,300 with the piercing. Can you imagine when it is used with buffs? Yeah, it gets crazy. 
its max DPS becomes 5714. Like, what? That's just insane! Even without piercing, it's still 2285. Even when you are factoring in that the placement limit is just one, those still aren't numbers to overlook. So, anyways, the Gatling Gun is so OP because of its insane DPS, insane cost efficiency when factoring in piercing, the piercing itself, stun immunity, map range, super advanced targeting with the FPS mode, and okay, I didn't even mention that it has both hidden and flying detection at level 0 thanks to the FPS mode. Seriously, the Gatling Gun is just insane, and I would not be surprised if it gets nerfed in the next update. If they ever do nerf it, it would likely be with the piercing because honestly, the single target damage is fine, and when it comes to the piercing nerf, I personally would make it so the first enemy takes 100% damage, the second enemy takes 75% damage, and the third enemy takes 25% damage. Or, another proposal could be only a 2 max hit limit, but it'd still be 100% for both. But if by that point it is still broken, I mean it probably will be, then 100% and 50% could work too. Now, if you disagree with these ideas, however, feel free to leave a comment about your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.